Not a very good idea. Entering a Mandalorian's room uninvited. Why don't you back up to the point where you were standing outside the door and rethink your decision? There are a few of us in the galaxy. Now, what do you want? Enjoy yourself. Yeah, fuck that. Ring, ring, 
I don't know who you are, but you picked the wrong room to break into. No harm done. For a minute, I thought you might have been someone else. My wife, Ada. There's a chance she may be here on Nar Shadda. A lot of refugees ended up here after the Jedi Civil War. I came here to see if I could track her down. Thing is, I can't get into the refugee sector. And even if I could, I'm not sure I could find her. I've been here for weeks, hoping to see her face. All I've done is watch my credits burn away to nothing. The Exchange has got the place barricaded with thugs. They're putting the squeeze on the whole sector, trying to crush the spirit out of the remaining refugees. Now I'm almost cleaned out. I burned the last of my fuel and my freight just getting here. The Exchange promised me a job shuttling freight via cargo cruiser, and I'm close to taking them up on it. Yeah? And what's it gonna cost me? Well, I'm not gonna turn away an offer of help. All right, stranger. If you can find her, then you'll have my thanks. Kavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liyawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwan Wana Mochata Marawaka Jo Takometa Kapla Yia Justing Miki Gongo Beaste Kun grabi la king no mulara kichi kuta grasa kisha. Munga chi norta imbrei wanachike. Drumba bambua. Conti chan mung. Munga chi norta imbrei wanachike. Drumba bambua. Conti chan munka. Chone mulera. Don King e Bano già ta come ta che playa justing mi che go go
The Wancha Mori Chiwa, Mufalawa, Nibobo, we Gavadumpa, Munsuru, Kupla Li Dovrekun Mili Dovrekun Mili Gavadumpa, Gavadumpa. Mungachino Dain Kawan Kawanabo Untachi Chabi Radici Croton or Rangama. related inquiries will have to be directed to Volga himself. However, we only purchase droids
Red One, ni Bobo King, but tu no le crispa. Manya Gur King Kun now. Manya Gur King Kun now. Pereki bankra. Sama kutsa ma kipong. No sukama rontisi renti. Mama, sopa kutanitis. Echuta. Nebedwana ni Bobo King batu no ila crispa. Tawancha mori kon soba. Mawani din chori kit sodu sobare. Kavadumba mo sora ku da hirembe wana kumpaile mo kata. Kavadumba mo sora ku da hupa botenya go chucho biti. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Moga chi nor da hirembe wana chi kaki mogo krabo. Turum papa nak keras. Ada rabi nuko sobaran we masa kociro cucu biji prem kamsa. Dah hirem be wana kumpai le mukata. Takom tak jus miki mogo krabo.
Malam pro terawan jika sasam cabar. Tuna tak bias via. Dapat tumpa munsur kupla lia wa. Kawana bota. Kawana bota. Shon konti chaum, kin lor ta aitha kun, aitha pati satong dia kun bato taun, chona choba. Chupa. 
mahiyubong labok raturong ang tichimait muliran yung tuba. Nilihong kagratog jimot malayabist wait wata. Jiji, naudung chong yomabala yuman. Yomawa mani boba, Lord Awish Wanga Shachi. Nilihong kagratog jimot malayabist wait wata. Jiji, naudung chong yomabala yuman. Chopiti man ponjame. Sashangi bedwana mulela chupa wanga kuna kuticha chuna kuna sa. Chopiti man ponjame. Sashangi bedwana mulela. Chupa wanga kuna kuticha chuna kuna sa. Don't waste my time. I've got a transport to catch. Bornacini in sopa maranca wongo kumbi Dovrei kun mi Tiu Watakla Kawana bot Ento mesh mi pad Malam pasta Jona yur toranga ch Haven't heard anything more yet. Uh, this sector, refugee.
to find out what's going on, talk to Hussein. I heard the over Sarquesh has got us hemmed in like animals. I wish someone would sneak into their camp and rob them blind. Welcome, traveler. My name's Husef. I try to look out for the other refugees. I see you're a stranger here. Watch your step and uh, keep to the camp. You've got the Serico refugees over on the Skyward side. They're veterans from the Serico campaign and, and don't take kind to strangers. And on the inner side, you've got the overseer and his exchange. They've been pushing us refugees pretty hard lately. Those two have a truce. Neither side wants to mess with the other. Only if we enter their territory. It makes things a little tight here in the camp. Not much room to move. I won't succumb to the exchange. We have children here. With bright futures. We can't give up. Those... Occasionally, their thugs kidnap people and sell them into slavery with the hut. They've also hemmed us in. We used to live all throughout this area, but they've crammed us all in here now. If you could convince either the Exchange or the Serico to give us more space, that would really help a lot. Thanks. Good luck. Another refugee? I'm sad to see another join our ranks. I lost my husband Lutra long ago in the Jedi Civil War. What? Lutra's here? Please! You must help me get to him! The Exchange is circling the sector like Shyrax. If one of us should slip free, they will hunt us down and punish us. No one knows. I think they're trying to starve us into submission. Then they can make us slaves on the Hut Spice Planets, or disposable workers in the Tabana Gas Factories on Slaheron. But other refugees think the Exchange is looking for someone. Some even say it's a Jedi, but that's insane. No Jedi would ever come to a waste pit like Narshada. Back again? When Telos was bombarded by the Sith, some of us were able to escape on in-system shuttles. We floated in orbit for weeks before we were picked up by Republic capital ships. I think the Sith wanted witnesses to what happened to Telos, and I've been drifting from planet to planet ever since, only to end up here with nowhere left to go. You were kind to offer, but unless you can return my husband to me, there is little that you can do. What? Lutra's here? Greetings. Are you the spacer we were told about? Oh, we were expecting one of the pilots from the docks sometime soon to come and get us off Nar Shaddaa. He's late. I don't know where he is. Thank you. To be honest, I don't even know his name. Some guy named Planor said he had a pilot friend who would take us for 500 credits. 50 credits? Why? I was afraid of that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Thank you. I'm beginning to lose hope that we'll ever get out of here. Hey. You look like a spacer. You work at the docks? Because if you need a crew, I'm your man. I flew during the Mandalorian Wars, and again during the Jedi Civil War. Yes, and look where I ended up. You need a pilot's license to fly the freighters here. They're tough to get without sponsorship. I'd greatly appreciate that. Are you one of Sakwesh's men? 
did you take my daughter? The overseer, Saquesh. He took my daughter to sell to the huts, all because I told him I could not pay his tribute. I owe Saquesh six hundred credits. I, I don't have enough. Thank you. But I, uh, won't he track us down and kidnap her again? Thank you. Thank you. Please hurry. After the huts have her, it, it will be impossible to find her. Oh, hello. If you could convince I good luck to you. Heap back. I am ill. Contagious, the others say. Really? I'm feeling a little better. Thank you. That was noble of you to help that sickly man. You put your own life at risk to save others. I admire your bravery. Dovrekun mili wosa slima po wanga samoana nucha. Tagra mancho china me bortan dorchugos. Da hupa bosa curata go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yuki to tune. Kavadumpa mo wendido chokerembi norta kunyun wish chawa kachuba. Sura dachi morotuko kansa. Da hupa, bossa curata, go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yuki to tune. Dovre kun mili kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ta bosananansata. Unta chiwita inka kikraya na chawanga kone. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ta bosananansata. Da hupa, bossa curata, go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yuki to tune. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta yaita, ta bosananansata.
any more refugees trying to come in here, we'll cut them down. This is Serico territory. Get out of here before we space you. Got it? That's a laugh. Look, blow out of here like space dust, or you'll be a new stain on the cargo hold. All right, you can go see him. I'm spoiling for a fight. Hey, what's going on over there?
If you want to find out what's going on, talk to Hussein. Thank you so much for returning my Adana to me. Life's been easier since someone wiped out the Sirocco. Did you find us a pilot yet? Please, hurry.
That was so kind of you to help out Nadar and Adana. Thanks for taking care of Sakwesh. I fear what the exchange might do next, though. You've already helped us greatly. Life should start improving for us. You wiped out all of the Serico on your own? <laughs> Impressive. You've made things easier for us around here. You've already helped us greatly. Life should start improving for us. Back again? Is there anything I can... What? Lutra's here? How did you do this? I barely know you, and you've brought me word of my husband, and then a free path to him. It's almost too good to be true. You've given me my husband back, stranger. My husband. My life. Thank you. Hey, any luck yet? Thanks for your help. I'm still looking too. Let's see, three bricks of spice out to Elysia, then with a the turnaround, um, no, no, that won't work. Ah, uh, come act! Here so soon? I wasn't expecting you for... Uh, well, not now, anyway. The genius shall be long, the rowage is remelished in dust, but I must get the runs of the ones you could make. Yeah, well, I, uh, <laughs> I tried to explain that, you see, but, um... I had no choice. These, uh, these thugs showed up and, uh, they said that you could go space yourselves. And uh, I was like, no, no, this is the Red Eclipse. And... Uh,
Kiko asotoya e ringe fri te de ducha por samba sugna kapla wie tinya tal chiro runta gamsa. De shunko jova ninja chimba taxi tre ducho si ducho pitie prim taba nin sochu. This one's not sure. Haven't heard anything more yet. Exchange has got this sector carved right down the middle. Soon they'll own it. Suppose you're right. I wouldn't want the problem to spread to my many other functions. Oh, that feels much better. I cannot believe I went on and on about such a foolish game. Thank you, truly thank you. Thank you for repairing me. I feel ever so much better now. It feels like years since I got bizarre. The whole
So, oh, you have the look of a seasoned spacer about you. What bat wash are you looking for? Well, honestly, there's not much for people like you and I to do around here. If you, uh, catch my meaning. Well, our kind isn't exactly the majority on this planet. Well, there is plenty for them to do. The Pazak Den, Swoop Races, the Jek Jek Tar, they're pretty much taken care of. Now there's a place that's literally deadly for our kind. Jet Jet Tar is a bar filled with cyanogen gas. It's poisonous to you and I, but the aliens drink it up and pay good money to do so. The cyanogen gas also acts as a social buffer, since the people who typically frequent Jet Jet Tar aren't interested in speaking to the likes of you and I in the first place. Yeah, the Pazak Den is a glorified social club for hardline Pazak players. It's exclusive, though with a guard at the door and a password needed to simply get in. Don't know why you'd want to get into that place. Bunch of Firaxa sharks will strip you clean of your credits, especially the champ. He only shows up to play people he deems worthy enough. You'd just have to beat about everyone in that place before he'd even think of coming out of hiding.
ready. Mandalorians in the war. I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. I don't need compliments from a murderer. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover. Stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Fine by me.
Republic were it not for... Only Revan was worthy of our respect. We swept through the Outer Rim without any opposition until Revan assumed command of the Republic forces. Only then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought, while the others cowered in their halls, afraid to meet us head on. I'm sure there were good reasons. I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now was there something else you needed? You fought with Revan and Malak during the Mandalorian Wars. Why? Huh. We'd never faced Jedi before, and didn't know the threat they represented. You've always been in the Jedi Order. Things that are common knowledge to you are rumors and stories to the rest of the galaxy. We only knew what we had seen in Holovids and from our experience with Exar Kun. And by that time, he was completely a Sith. We thought we would triumph easily over such noble and compassionate leaders. Those are weaknesses we easily exploited in the past. What did you think of us? And that is how we thought of you. Not of the Jedi in particular, but the men and women who joined Revan and Malak to fight against us. You turned a demoralized, defeated mess into a coordinated army. You brought tactics, backbone, and above all else, victory to them. Ever consider what would have happened if we'd won? The Sith would have been nothing more than a border skirmish against the might of my clans. We would have brought a new age of strength and expansion to the Republic with the wealth of the core worlds providing arms and warships to fuel our growth. Instead, the Republic won. Look around you. Look at what your precious victory has brought you. I ask you this. Is the galaxy better off for the Republic's victory? I suppose we'll never know. Now is there something else you needed? Something up? All right, what did you want to know? Yeah, that's a surprise. Did he say I owed him credits too? I'm as Atten as Atten will ever be. And whoever your trusted informant is, he's right. I did show up on Nar Shaddaa during the Jedi Civil War, along with a lot of other refugees. No, because you're asking about it. If I wanted to tell you anything, I would have come and told you. Anything else? Is this an interrogation? If so, you're terrible at it, especially for an ex-Jedi, or whatever you are. Why don't you just crawl in my head and try to dig out whatever you're looking for rather than asking about it? You know what? I helped you get off, Dragus. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm trying to help you. I don't know why I'm bothering. I don't know. I'm not sure I understand it half the time. You know what? Not once have I asked you about the Mandalorian Wars. Not once. I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor V. What makes you think you've got the right to interrogate me on anything? You've got plenty of lives to answer for. All you Jedi do. How did you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Council? Hoping they'd kill you? Wasn't it? Maybe you thought they'd forgive you. Sure, you might have thought they'd execute you. But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. So you got off easy. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you, all those Jedi at Malachor, they deserved it. Every last one of them. Because Jedi lie, and they manipulate, and every act of charity or kindness they do, you can drag it out squirming into the light and see it for what it is. The galaxy doesn't need Jedi arrogance or Jedi hypocrisy anymore. 
The Jedi, the Sith, you don't get it, do you? To the galaxy, they're the same thing. Just men and women with too much power, squabbling over religion while the rest of us burn. At least the Sith are honest about what they're killing for. The Jedi are pacifists, except in times of war. They're teachers, except when it comes to telling their students the truth. And when they save you, it's only so you can suffer more. Whatever, just leave me alone. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. Well, don't get too attached to me. I don't like it. It's because I'm a deserter. It's what I do. Served in both of them. Against the Mandalorians, before and after Revan, and again, when Revan declared war on the Jedi. That's just a name. It's what we did that was important. But it was more than that. You were there. You knew how easy it was to hate the Jedi who sat back in the Republic, evaluating the threat, and watched us die against the Mandalorians? Because you can't believe in the Republic anymore after the Mandalorian Wars. After Revan, nothing was the same. Right after that final battle at Malachor, I was right there with the rest of the defectors. Because it was the right thing to do. No, it wasn't. We needed the Jedi during the Mandalorian Wars, more than anything. The Mandalorians were slaughtering us by the millions. The millions. You were at Serico, when they turned the Starib cities into glass craters. At Duro, when basilisk war droids rained like meteors onto the orbiting cities. And when the Mandalorians set fire to the Zoxan Plains on Ares III, the fires that still burn. Without the Jedi who turned on the Council, without you, the Republic would have lost the war, and we would all be Mandalorian slaves or corpses. We were loyal to Revan. That was enough. He saved us. It's another story, and it's nothing I feel like talking about. I did a lot of things I'm not proud of, and I couldn't do it anymore. Yes? You may ask. Before entering Atris's service, it is not important. got this message on the comm link. Looks like trouble. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. The droid's the one who picked up the message. He's got it all ready to display. Good thing it's not a trap. 
What are you talking about? It's obviously a trap. Could you please lighten up for one second? It may be a trap, but traps work both ways. This Visquis, his kind is spread through the lower reaches of Narshadar, and he may have information. But the choice is yours. If you go, you will have to go alone. Well, I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else. Hey, look. I wanted to tell you. Be careful. I won't be able to contact you via the comlink if something happens. And I'm betting that Squidhead knows it. Look, take these. They're healing packs. If your suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to seize up. And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. Watch yourself, and don't be too long. I'll keep an eye out here until you return, and I know just the place. So, you're the big Jedi that everyone's been talking about. You don't look so tough to me. I thought you Jedi were supposed to be smart, and here you are running around Nar Shadda, sticking your lightsaber into everyone's business. What, were you planning to save everyone on this moon? You're attracting more attention than a fleet of Sith warships. I'm Mira. I'm the best bounty hunter in this system, and that's not me bragging, that's fact. I had you in my sights ever since you landed. I've been watching you run all over the refugee sector like a bantha, and for someone with a price on their head as high as yours, you sure don't know how to keep a low profile. Look, I know that Squidhead Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jek Jek Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. I'm betting he's gonna lure you in there, start a fight, and then he's gonna wrap you up and deliver you to Goto. Dead, claiming you attacked him. Well, whatever your reasons are, the fact you're meeting with Visquis is what I want to talk about. If I know about it, that means everybody else on this moon knows about it, or will soon enough. And when that happens, the bounty hunter truce is off. That means things are going to get real ugly real quick. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Well, this sure beats staying on the ship. A few drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pazak to keep the mind alert. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. Give me a hit of Juma, and keep him coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. So, I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here, or...? Yeah? What happened to your master? 
kichu no kada mirenito. <laughs> Ren filoso ni heku chupa naret ata makcha. Tono tucha? Tocha rama kaka musuran kana. Joana masaranka ma rama zureta? Keso jus krita lorsa? You much a fool echo miko jira. No, I'm here protecting someone, keeping them out of trouble by acting as a distraction for people looking to harm him. To wanti malari? Kono we so to randa krani? Da hupo botenyo go jucho picha, gwem taba ni sochu, norotoga proto la la shishi, juba dosa jibacha, ratak mansan, tokosha na chitolo. Kavadumpe masuraku, popayi botenya, tache morota gamsa, javasko bo sabjo, rijiso karvenokso. Why don't you two shut us try it and we'll see what happens? Do not go here to put us aboard. Chris Sorcha went tense in my punta. Lord Chawata, you my knee. Hold on, you my des. That bottom no chi, tagua ita. No so copa puta. Brentaba nin sucho.
Well, that's it. The bounty hunter truce is off. That means this place is gonna get real bad, real fast. I better get back to the ship. Warn the others. I don't know why a Jedi would come here. There's so much noise on this moon. Of course. It makes detecting a Jedi difficult. But to be in a place where one drowns in the Force... Why would a Jedi wish that? A simple question, to which I ask another. Why should a Jedi want to hide? Hey, we need to move out. What are you talking about? What is wrong? The truce between the bounty hunters in Nar Shadda is off. There's gonna be a war. A trap in the Jek Jek Tar is bad enough, but having a hundred bounty hunters on your back is something else. He was told to meet alone. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the Exile. If they are coming after us, then they will be after him as well. We need to go rescue him. Yeah, you're right. But I'm guessing we're in a lot more trouble than he is. Loka Kamaran in Doso ran we no chabi. Do Rantamana Sobu. Febko emaream ga wata situ in sula raka raka chata. Tamaso kin chuda wanka. Mopi una wana si chukora tawa. Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collection of bounty hunters. Ah, well, that would explain it. Which one do you want? I'll take the stupid one who decided to threaten us rather than shoot us when he had the chance. This is one of my safe houses. It's it's not too pretty to look at, but keeps away prying eyes. Yeah, well, it's one of those trade-offs. All the freighter exhaust from the docks, you know. Some aliens actually like breathing it, if you can believe it. You could say I've gotten used to it. This is actually perfume compared to how the rest of the docks smell. You know, Visquis is arranging a trap for you in the Jek Jek Tar. No surprise there. Thing is, he intends to cut the bounty hunters out of the loop and deliver you to Goto personally. <laughs> Not smart from where I'm standing. Well, for one thing, you're going to stay here and I'm going to meet with Visquis instead. Well, that smell you noticed when you came in? It's probably filtering through your lungs right now. I upped the dosage in case you had some Jedi training to resist poisons. Anybody without olfactory blockers, like I have, is gonna start feeling dizzy and eventually fall unconscious. Good night, Jedi. Let me just take that environment suit, and I'll be back soon.
Good eyes, Hanhar. No wonder you're still number two on Narshada. Yeah, and maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim the Jedi for yourself. You signed on with Voga the Hut? Visquis, you're dumber than I thought. There's no way Goto won't find out. Yeah, right. I'm not telling you where the Jedi is. It's my bounty, and that means he's under my protection. I know you can hear me. The numbness you feel should be wearing off soon, but not before we've spoken. When I first heard you were on Nar Shada, I didn't quite believe it. I didn't think anyone could track me here, but I see I underestimated you. I've been trying to discover your purpose in coming here, but it eludes me. Some of your actions have aided the exchange, others have thwarted them. I did not know your intentions when you stood before us at your trial so long ago, and I do not know them now. But whatever they are, you have succeeded in drawing me out. If anything, you should know that your actions have convinced me I can stand by and watch no longer. Whatever harm the exchange harbors against Jedi, I will not let another suffer for it. A friend has gone to meet Visquis in your stead, and I intend to rescue her. I will return shortly, or not at all. If you have come to this moon for answers, or for revenge, then you will follow me. For if I fail, then you will be denied both. 